This video highlights some of the new and updated features of D2L Learning Environment 10.5.7. Several features of the Awards tool have changed to improve usability. Learners can now see their awards and shared awards when viewing their own profile page at card in a simplified view. From a learner's profile, click View My Awards to view all awards, which are displayed as images. Click the award image to view more details. Instructors can now create release conditions based on awards. When creating a release condition, click Select Condition Type and select an option from Awards. Then, set the condition details. Instructors can create release conditions that are associated with awards everywhere you can create release conditions in the Brightspace platform. Additionally, instructors can now add release conditions in the Brightspace platform in order to release other objects, such as content or another award. Award expiry and award earned notification email templates are now available. From mail templates, click either award earned notification or award expiry notification to view or modify the template. Floating controls have been added on all awards pages. These controls remain visible when scrolling within the awards pages. Instructors will notice a new look and feel for holistic rubrics. Holistic rubrics that appear within the Discussions Tool Topic Score Details modal have been updated to provide a more modern web appearance. This feature builds on the feature released in 10.5.6 that introduced rubric scoring as part of the Assessing Topic posts. Instructors can now export a quiz event log of all quiz attempts made by learners to a CSV file for offline analysis. This feature implements PI item D1022. Export event logs appears on the grade quiz page for instructors that have the existing Manage Quizzes permission. Click Export Event Logs, which downloads the CSV file. Open the file to view the quiz event log of all quiz attempts made by learners for a quiz. The IP address of all users' actions is now included in the event log. Note, the IP address only appears if the CIP address's permission is enabled for your role. Other user information privacy rules apply. Improvements have been made to the MyOrg Units widget. The MyOrg Units widget now displays multiple org unit types. To enable users to distinguish between multiple org units in a single list, the org unit type now follows the org unit name. For example, this list contains the Accounting 101 course template and the Culinary School Department. The widget now features paging for long lists of items, which allows it to maintain a consistent size while accommodating long lists of org units. Finally, a search bar has been added to the widget to enable you to quickly find the org unit you are looking for. Search for an org unit by full or partial org unit name or org unit code. 